throwing chairs at Ziggurat from Milkstone Studios. It is, well, you'd be hard-pressed to tell that it's a Unity game, but it is. Priced at fourteen ninety nine. Wet Stinkies, you can find it at, oh, I guess you just, they don't have a website, it's just the Steam page on the show notes. Whatever! What is it? It is a procedurally generated um shooter it's a it's a horde shooter much in the vein of serious sam or your painkillers or whatnot but the gimmick here is you're a wizard harry you get a magical wand and you can shoot your magical load all over various enemies that spawn in random configurations so like anything as as, as the ziggurat itself is a trial it too must face the trial of the chairquisition i love all the chairs one chair means that it's shit two chairs means that it's meh three chairs means that it's pretty good and four chairs means that it's terrific oh, and we also have our categories of doom mix with the working shiny sounds control and fun so then did ziggurat make with the working well you know being a unity game you always expect that making with the working to be somewhere between one and damn why can't we give it zed chairs <laughs> <laughs> Milkstone has learned a lot. They have. Um, from the creators of Little Racist Street, the game that was genuinely busted for the first three months. On love Reddit. Bus! Uh, the Love Bus, you might remember from that, players. Um, no real issues. Uh, I was testing it on the Ubuntu 1404 LTS Dual 770. Box of business. Uh, the one little thing, but considering it genuinely worked. Now, these heathens are going to start crying because they don't run separate X screens like a real person. Um, the one little thing, and I can't ding at a chair for it just because everything else just worked, was when you're setting your windowed resolutions, it doesn't work until you restart the game. A little annoying, not enough to kill it with a chair, so I'm going to say four chairs. Makes with a working final offer, J-Man. Yeah, you know, I was actually impressed with how well this game ran. Um, I'll get I'll get to that a bit more in Shiny and Sounds. But our old friend Unity trying to capture both monitors and give me gives me a thirty eight forty by ten eighty uh window on a single monitor. So it doesn't span both, it just sort of cuts off in half. And so I go into the prefs file to fix it. And it's one of these stupid games that you have to change it in both locations in the Steam Boulder and in your dot config unity 3d whatever so that automatically as per my rule dings at two chairs really hate doing it because they did a fantastic job it's just it's ridiculous two chairs yeah uh, i tried it on both my regular calculator using ubuntu 1404 it's got a 56 50 hd amd mobile radeon thing they call it <laughs> Uh, it's on the open source drivers, and much like Jordan, since I have an external monitor connected to it, it tried to set up the window across both monitors, and it failed miserably, and <laughs> from that moment on, yep, that's Unity right then and there. On my work calculator, with, since I don't actually have an external screen plugged into it, usually it worked fine, so three chairs. All right, so that's three chairs for next to the working. Up next is Shiny and Sounds, Ben, where your eye pussies tickled and your ear pussies also tickled. I mean, you look at it. I mean, we'll just clip it over this record. This doesn't look like your standard Unity lot. It doesn't nope. Look... A lot of cell shading going on there. Yeah, looking pretty good. Not a lot of stock assets either. Plenty no of the um, <laughs> textures and all that are decent. Sounds fine. That was the first time, long time, I didn't immediately throw in some Slayer. Just listening to it, everything, voice narration, yeah, whatever. At the beginning, you skip that business. That's the last time you have to deal with it. <laughs> the trial of the cigarette. And the the hairy wand, wand you know, <laughs> pew, pew, pew. Um, pews like you would expect it to. Um, it's very accurate to what a real magic wand would sound like, along with the triple fires and all that other fun stuff. And it looks good. It genuinely does. And what I, I was more impressed with is... The fluidity of it. I've n that's why, even knowing this was Unity, I had to double check myself, and I was like, I've never seen a Unity game perform this well. Period. And this is yep. on. Trust me. Here's one thing I do. A little secret. I have 
an all-sync spinny drive inside the render box just as backup, backup, backup. And when I see a Unity game, I was like, I don't want to burn any extra holes in the SSD, so I'll copy it over that. I launched it on that, and it still fucking worked fantastically. It's not going to blow your eye pussies out of your head. It's not going to fucking blow your ear pussies inside out. But uh, considering it's Unity, it looks fantastic. Uh, I'm going to give it what it deserves. Three cheers, J-Man. Yes, uh, Milkstone is very much now in the camp alongside um, the guys from Distance. And oh, what was that other game? Wasteland 2. Wasteland 2, yeah. Uh, they're, they're much in that camp of people who know how to actually use Unity properly. Yep. Um, I, I didn't mention the hardware, but this is the Fedora 20 64-bit power 1090T NVIDIA 670 superclocked on the NVIDIA 34333 3, 3 drivers. Um, yeah, cranked everything up to 11 on that, and while it does make your CPU go room, it ate up about 80% of all six cores, which was quite impressive. Um, but... <laughs> Um, despite, but you know, it actually put all those resources to good use for once. Um, but yeah, the game runs stupidly, stupidly well. Um, so smooth, like motion butter. blur and everything. Motion blur and everything. That I was, I was very impressed. I, I, I cranked everything up to eleven. Like, let's see how this chokes down my system. No, no, it, 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 it steals all those CPU resources and uses them. I'm very impressed. The game looks about as well. Uh, it, it's about as good as you'd expect for like um, these, these guys aren't necessarily big, but they 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 put some work into the video, the uh, graphics and the audio. Yeah, that was pretty decent. So I will too give it three cheers. Yeah, er, <laughs> I like the cell shading. the The textures themselves they were simple, and they may very well be the stock Unity textures and assets in general, but the way that they've made them look with the cell shading and the shader effects and all that pretty looking stuff, it works. And it works really well. And you can still tell it's Unity because regardless of how hard you try, anti-aliasing on the AMD open source drivers does not work. And shaders on the Intel Open source drivers, I mean, the Intel drivers, those are the only ones they have, does not work. <laughs> so, I mean, you could be excused, like Ven and Jordan already said, you could be excused of assuming it's not Unity because it's running, even on my calculators, both of them, it's running at 60 FPS constantly with graphics on high and everything checked. It just, the shaders don't work on the Intel drivers and the and it doesn't work here. But that aside, it works really, really good. Good on them, but it still has some snafu, so three chairs. All right, so that is three chairs for shiny and sounds. Up next is control. Ben, unlike Strider, do you feel like you're in control? I don't know, man. I was really missing that F key, you know. That <laughs> <laughs> should be my action key for all the things. Loaded up didn't change anything. Didn't try it with the controller because you're just a monster of a human being if you have used a controller for a first person anything. This is a first person dungeon crawler that is randomly generated. Which, on one hand, will always keep things fresh, but on the other hand, you'll never be able to say, you know, in that one level, I did that one thing because that was the one There time is no level, level design. Randomly. Well, there procedurally, is no spoon. There is no spoon. Wow. Um, kind of like it. A bit gimmicky. It looks decent, but the levels work. Every room. No, I shouldn't say level, but when you go into a new area. I looked at it, and it, it didn't blow my brain organ out of its um, container, which is just nasty business altogether. I could see it was like... Yeah, I could see how this could be procedurally generated. There was nothing in there. It was like, wow, how did they pull this off? But um, with the controls, I liked it. It moved with the keyboard. It was so stupidly fast and fluid. I have not yep. seen that yet with the Unity game until I saw this. Now, mentioned distance, and that's a racing game, Wasteland 2. 
It's more of your point and click. This is the first first person dungeon crawling anything like this. That is what you can do this. Good on you. And Milkstone has learned their lessons from Little Races Street. We might have mentioned billions of years ago. They even got in their forums and said, "All right, we had to completely rewrite everything from scratch." That's what you got to do. Yeah. So <laughs> they've learned. They paid their dues, and for doing it right, you get four chairs with those controls, buddy. All right, guy. Oh yeah, it's like butter. I really, I, I have nothing else to say about the controls. They're just <laughs> they're, they're, they're 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 solid FPS controls, and they respond well. And that's really all you want with a first-person shooter. Am I am I am I, am I right? Am I wrong? He's here all night, folks. Uh, <laughs> that's Four chairs on controls. I think I think I deserve that. Oh, uh, yeah. one 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 thing though, I had the Xbox controller plugged in, <laughs> and it would just I, I I had it on the filing cabinet, and it would just freak out, rattling <laughs> to the point where I'm like, "What the fuck is happening?" Oh, Rumble works. Neat. <laughs> yeah, unplugged. that that was my experience with it. Uh, that's the other thing you could excuse it. Uh, you could be excused of assuming it's not Unity. It's because this thing right here worked out of the box and i only knew that it was actually working because i was playing with a keyboard and i started hearing <laughs> oh hey sdl2 it is they're using parts of sdl2 they've sort of made their own custom brew to work as a layer between unity and the controllers but they milkstone games or milkstone studios whatever they're called are the only people that I've managed to sort Unity controls properly. And to me, that deserves serious recognition. Four chairs. <laughs> All right, so that's four chairs on control. That's a first. Um, probably not. <laughs> Especially in a Unity game. <laughs> Especially, first for a Unity game, for sure. Up next, <laughs> final subjective category. Yeah, subjective category. Fun. Ben, did you have fun? You know, we can always get a show title by whether or not Jordan screws up the chair intro or anything in the review segment. Um, <laughs> here's the thing. Go fuck yourself. Yeah, buddy. I liked it uh, for what it is. Um, uh, we were talking earlier. And I said, the only reason I even thought about this to pick it up was Total Biscuits. Like, well, this thing's fuck you hard. And I was like, ah, I like me a little fuck you. And uh, I like me a little hard, too. I also play video hey, games. Um, but, yeah. Uh, it's entertaining. It is hard on normal. That's what I like. It's bullet hell. It quickly devolves into bullet hell with the enemies, and you can't figure out who you're going to take out. You get weapons, you get your upgrades, you can spend your points on your health, your mana, and all that. So, I mean, you're continually doing that. You're earning some change every time your skeleton gets dropped down, because you're going to get killed to death a lot. It's frustrating. It is a dungeon crawler in that sense. Um... Boss fights, yeah, they're all right. You got to figure out the way. I, when it comes back to fuck you hard, tons of mana everywhere. Depending on what weapons you get, then you get the grenades and all. It's going to drain your mana, but health drops are super rare, so you always have to keep track on that. Did find it a bit jarring being procedurally generated because for me that didn't deliver a sense of an accomplishment. Like I beat this sector. And I know how to go through this. And if I have to go through it again, I'll do it. I was like, oh, new shit. And it's a new room with shit reorganized in it. And a bunch of fuck you because that's why that is in it. Which can be fun. Um, the price, yeah. For that amount of fun, uh, I'm going to say maybe, maybe you want to hold off. and Maybe 10% off, 20% off if you're like me. But it's such a beautifully done game from Milkstone, oddly enough, that uh, I'm going to give it two chairs. Bit of a map, because it didn't blow me away. I'm probably not going to go back and spend a billion years playing this, even though I possibly could, because procedural generation, that's a thing, <laughs> J-Man. Yeah, I mean, uh, the procedurally generated thing doesn't really bother me all that much. I get Personally, I got a, I really got a Serious Sam vibe from this game, mm -hmm. and which made me immediately think, you know what made Serious Sam the best multiplayer? This game never heard of it. It's Moon Technology. Oh, of course, <laughs> not available in Unity. 
no Unity games have multiplayer. None well, whatsoever. Legend, especially Legends of Aetherius. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways. Um, no, uh, this, this, this game is like fuck you hard like on, on normal i'm like wow i'm dying a lot and i'm talking to ben and he's like oh yeah i was dying a lot good so it's not just that i'm terrible it's everyone's terrible i feel much better uh while while the levels themselves are procedurally generated they are very very samey you're you're gonna get the same thing again and again and again and it, it, it doesn't really feel like i'm progressing i mean like you're clearing rooms and whatnot but there's nothing new it's just the same horde of enemies again and again and again and again um but i mean that that's that's just me there 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 may be other people who enjoy the fuck out of this game i know pedro has paid, played like five hours of this yep. he doesn't have to work for a living uh, uh technically i do but okay oh shut up <laughs> work <laughs> but um yeah no it's not not really my bag would I would have given it a much higher score if I could actually play it with other people. That that would have been fun. As you like die as a group on my own, it's just like oh this again and this again. I will say um you, even easy mode is relatively challenging. I I, I would say easy. It sort of it, it sort of takes the FTL dynamic of normal is actually hard, easy is actually normal, and so on and so forth. And hard is just like go fuck yourself. So, uh, all said and done, I will give this two chairs. It's a bit of a meh in the fun department. Yeah, well, the roguelike elements, for me, had it just enough flavor to keep me coming back. Because, yeah, you're going to die a lot, and if you'd had to go through the same arena shooter type thingy that this game is, it's like original painkiller meets heretic or hexen from the early days. And... Done. It's if you had to go through the the very same arena over and over and over again, it's it'd get a bit dull. Uh, the roguelike-ish elements of the random generation of the maps and the random level up perks that you get and the random loot sort of that you get from baddies. They give it just enough flavor for me to enjoy it, and I enjoy it a lot. My current save game, I just finished the fourth level, and I'm at the start of the fifth level, which is the very last level. Uh, the ziggurat in itself, you get five random levels, and then you can either stop playing, or if you've unlocked a new character, you can try finishing it with a new character. And that's what the game is. It's that sideways type of replayability. It's, it's, like, it's a... like a first-person rogue legacy. Y yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a pretty good analogy. It's it's not the that new game plus type thing. It's more of a sideways replayability where you have to start from the bottom all over again. Just. And it works. For me, it works. I, again, like Jordan said, it's it would be more fun with more people, but I don't think not having multiplayer is actually a deterring point in this game, because at least for me, it was very much fun. So I will give it four chairs. All right. So that is two chairs for fun if we tally all this up. Ziggurat from Milkstone Studios gets three chairs, which is, if we go back to our chair explanation, pretty good. So, yep. uh, uh, gentlemen, final check thoughts. it out. Just, uh... well, yeah, um, I think the big Let's take a look is... at this since we normally do it in order. Um, Pedro. Uh... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's it. Bro. He's so excited. No for you. You're still um, fired. No. If you. <sighs> I even have to go back on this. After Little Racer's Street, I, I genuinely said I'm never buying another game from Milkstone. But they kept working on it, and they eventually unfucked their business with Unity on Linux, and now this is them going, we're sorry, check this business out. We've got it. We've sorted it. And man, they have. It's a brilliant demo. It's a, well, not a demo, it's a full game. It's a bit short. Granted, like people was saying, but the replayability is constantly there if you like the procedural generation. With that, the price, um, I said, you know, wait, if you're not completely just want to jump in this and see how awesome it is, 
uh, wait for it to go 10, maybe 20% off, then just insta buy it. Don't even think twice about it because you're going to get at least an on of fun out of this without thinking too hard. Um, J Man? Uh, really, my, my, my chief complaint with this game is no multiplayer. Would it would have would have been a lot more fun with multiplayer. I would I would certainly pick it up. These guys did a very good job with the game. Uh, got three chairs for a reason. So no. Yeah. At this point, wait for it to go on sale. Maybe unless you really like the random generation rogue like elements of that. Just about every game that comes out on Steam these days has. <laughs> if you really like that, don't even think about it. Just buy it. It's pretty good. But if you don't, yeah, wait for it to go on Steam. Like Ven said, you'll at least get a, an hour or so of fun out of it. <laughs>